Wow, okay. Hey everyone, it's Carson here. Today is not Tuesday. Here I have a video for you. This week I got to pick the topic and I really wanted to talk about just animals. So we're gonna do that. And the animal that I chose is giraffes because I love giraffes, they're cool. It's something about them. Their full scientific name is Giraffa camelopardalis. The ancient Greeks had a belief that it looked like a camel wearing a leopard's coat, which if you do look at a giraffe, they kind of look like camels with extremely long necks, you know. They're just like oversized camels wearing the skin of a leopard. But obviously leopards and giraffes do look very different. Um, giraffes are typically, you know, 15 to 20 feet tall. That's pretty large. One of my favorite things about giraffes is the little nub nubs on their head. Well, what the real name of those little horns are called are ossicones. What I didn't know is that some of them actually have more than two, and some even have little bumps in the center of their face in addition to the little nub nubs. And if you've ever wondered what sound a giraffe makes, like, I'm pretty sure most people have thought that giraffes are just non-vocal animals, and they're not. Uh, it's just believed that the frequency at which their sounds come is a frequency that we cannot hear. But they communicate using various different humming sounds, so I'm guessing they're kind of like whales on land because they're humming all the time. Not all the time, but they hum to communicate. So just imagine, because like, we have a larynx. There's so little of a neck for the air, to, for the airflow to have to go through. But for a giraffe that has seven vertebrae the same as us, you know, each of their vertebrae measures up to at least 10 inches. And that is so much longer than a human's neck. I'm pretty sure it'd be hard to get like a really strong airflow through a neck so long that really all they can do is hum. I just want to be clear that an albino giraffe, they have a shorter lifespan, but that's because their appearance makes them easier to spot. I also want you to know that um, giraffes, they're pretty dangerous animals. Like a swift kick from one of their legs is, you know, it can do serious damage. It can even kill a lion. So don't even think for a second that giraffes can't protect themselves. They may be very strange and different, but they can hold their own. Yeah. And you know, just like in almost every single species out there, homosexuality is documented. It's definitely a thing. It exists everywhere. You can't escape it. Giraffes are considered especially gay because there is more male to male contact than there is male to female contact so maybe maybe they are just especially gay maybe that's why i love giraffes so much you know they're kind of tall awkward animals but maybe they are underrated because so many people don't know how amazing giraffes are nobody speaks for the big guys whose heads are in the clouds can't come down here and talk to us because it's just hard to get all that noise out if only we could all hum to each other. Anyways, have a great day. Um, can't wait till next week to make a video for you guys. And stay quirky.